Hi, I'm Melissa Geminale and I'm here with John Malisak and we are continuing on with exploring all the great things about publishing and figuring, helping you figure out whether you want to publish, how you want to publish, what you want to publish, etc, etc. Today we're talking about... Uh, the differences between self-publishing and traditional publishing. It's, uh, I think, a question that a lot of potential uh, authors have and uh, there's certainly been a lot of advances uh, in uh, the quote-unquote self-publishing uh, model over the past mm -hmm. few years. Um, I think the first question you should ask yourself, which might be a determining factor in which, dis which direction you go into, is what you as an author really hope to get out of writing your book. Um, you know, if, if you're looking to have the book be like a calling card or a, a business card for you uh, for your organization or for your clients, and you want to build up some speaking, uh, you know, speaking engagements, a, a speaking platform, and you're not so concerned about having your books stocked, you know, in in uh, you know Barnes and Noble and Borders, uh, you're going to hit you know bestseller lists, but you really want it as a tool, as an extension of yourself, and you want to get it out quickly, and you know, cost effectively then self-publishing might be the way to, uh, to, to go for you. Um, there have been a lot of advances in terms of the quality of the, uh, the, the printing, mm -hmm. that the paper, the overall design uh, that is new over the past few years. Uh, right, it gets, it gets better and better and I was going to say that one of the things that, that we have found, we have a, a great team of designers working with us, is that you can look very, very professional, and you you have a lot of you've mentioned before in the past the whole idea of having the control over your yeah. product. Um, what one of the things that John does in in Networlding, which I appreciate, is I'll, I'll go send him off on an assignment. And one of the assignments we've sent him off on is to aggregate, synthesize, make it easy to figure out where you should be publishing if you're self-publishing. So that's something we when we work with clients yeah. we we give them insights and it changes. It's it's not something that we can share uh, exclusively right now. But what I will say to you is there are so many choices and it does get confusing. So we will offer all kinds of tips and insights uh, around that, but we do recommend that you do a, a real deep look yourself also if you're going to go on your own to self-publish because it, there's, there are a lot of ins and outs and the last thing you want to do is have an investment that doesn't turn Absolutely. out Absolutely. Well. You really need to pay attention to the fine print because that's uh -huh. where some of these places are going to get you. So. Right. And the length of time, there are some places, I have a, a colleague of mine who's coming out with a book and, and truly it's taken at least four times as long as other places that yeah. we've gone with and there are other people who have done, uh, done the same thing John's done and, and what we try to do is work with you so that we have on the ground teams where we work where we can get things done faster because a lot of the places will tell you they'll get them done in you know a couple of weeks and it's four months later so if, if speed to market is important you want to look at those types of things too and any last tips uh, no I think I think that pretty much covers it so um, you know we'll continue this conversation and uh, check back with us soon Thank you, and I would say if you if you have this amazing platform and you're uh, someone like Madonna or Oprah, and Oprah, please call if you if you want us <laughs> to do a book. We have it, Leadership the Oprah Way, and we'll donate all the proceeds to your kids in Africa. We know how to do it right at Networlding. Take care. See have ya. a great day. Bye.